Amal Clooney puts on sophisticated display and chic leather skirt as she speaks at women's conference with father-in-law Nick. She is a passionate lawyer who just received a prestigious honor from the United Nations Correspondents Association Awards. And Amal Clooney was back on stage delivering another powerful speech at the Massachusetts Conference for Women on Thursday. Not only did Amal, 40, move audience members with remarks on women's rights, but she also enjoyed a chat with her father-in-law Nick Clooney. Amal also ensured she looked her best, as usual. The wife of George Clooney looked incredible in a black floor-length skirt and coordinating tank top that put her svelte physique on show. Her brunette dresses cascaded down in loose, flowing waves, and her complexion shined with peach blush and lipstick. On stage, Amal had audience members in the palm of her hand as she gave a speech on women's rights, equality, and the Me Too movement. We are living through a moment of reckoning and a rebalancing of power. But it's a long way from hashtag Me Too to never again, she said, according to the Massachusetts Conference for Women Twitter account. For too long, women have suffered abuses without speaking out or without being believed, she said. Amal also addressed sexual violence against women. Rape is part of a plan to systematically control women for the rest of their lives. Rape is an attempt to destroy a woman's spirit and her will to survive, she said. She also made remarks about equal rights. Achieving equality is not just the right thing to do, it is the profitable thing to do. No country can reach its full potential until women have equal rights. Amal was at one point joined by her father-in-law Nick who was also a scheduled speaker. The two looked in high spirits as they enjoyed a lively chat in front of audience members. It has been a busy day for Maul, who was seen emerging from a New York hotel on Thursday with her toddler twins. The human rights lawyer and activist carried one-year-old Zella and Alexander in her arms while looking ever so chic in a black outfit and long leopard print guilet. She finished off her look with 5-inch platform boots and a beret. The twins both wore jeans and white sneakers and carried matching teddy bears with festive red ties. Little Ella wore a fluffy white beanie and carried a stylish brown bag decorated with stickers while Alexander wore a black coat. The night before, Amal was a picture of glamour at the 23rd Annual United Nations Correspondents Association Awards. She attended with her husband. George Clooney and also brought two extra special guests along, her in-laws Nick Clooney and Nina Bruce Warren. Amal was honored as 2018's Global Citizen of the Year at the Gala. She was appointed to her first UN Commission in 2013 and has taken on a number of high-profile international cases in her career as a civil rights lawyer. As she took to the stage, she delivered a blistering speech in which she accused President Trump of giving the green light to autocratic regimes who jail and killed journalists after he named the American press the enemy of the people. She said reporters around the world are under attack from autocratic regimes including in North Korea, the Philippines, Hungary, Turkey, and Brazil. She added, the U.S. President has given such regimes a green light and labeled the press in this country the enemy of the people. And of course two months ago a Washington Post journalist, Jamal Khashoggi, walked into a consulate in Istanbul and was brutally tortured to death. Saudi Arabia has confessed to killing Khashoggi in a premeditated attack, but has denied its Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was involved. She also spoke about the jailing of two Reuters journalists, Wallone and Kaya Suo who were imprisoned for seven years in Myanmar after covering the killings of the Rohingya religious minority. They were jailed alongside a policeman, who testified that the men were set up by authorities.